ഡിയർ ലേണേഴ്സ് ഐ എം ക്രിസ്റ്റീന ജോർജി യുർ അക്കാഡമിക് കൗൺസിലർ ഫോർ ദ കോഴ്സ് കോഡ് ബി പി സി എസ് വൺ എയ്റ്റ് സിക്സ് ടൈറ്റിൽഡ് മാനേജിംഗ് സ്ട്രെസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ വീഡിയോ വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് സം ഓഫ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് പോയിന്റ്സ് ടു റിമെമ്പർ വൈൽ അറ്റൻഡിംഗ് ദ ടി ഇ ഇ ഓഫ് ബി പി സി എസ് വൺ എയ്റ്റ് സിക്സ് മൈ ഡിയർ ലേണേഴ്സ് ആസ് യു ഹവ് സീൻ ഇൻ മൈ കോഴ്സ് ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ വീഡിയോ this particular course code ppcs186 is a skill based elective of four credits offered to the ba level learners of various subjects such as psychology english sociology history public administration and many more first and foremost let's have a look at the course details we have already discussed this nevertheless it is important to be aware of the course code and course title i have explained the tee guidelines in general in a previous video of mine hope you have seen that there we have discussed how to fill in your answer booklets how to find your exam hall and many other aspects so here remember the course code is bpcs 186 the course title is managing stress dear learners it is of immense importance to be aware of the course code and title not just for this particular course code but for every other paper that you will be attempting this is because you need to fill in these details in your answer booklet and you will be assigned classrooms exam halls on the basis of course codes as well so you need to have an idea regarding the course code this would help you in your preparation of the right papers as well what about your program code your program code will depend on your specific subject say b a e g h for b a english learners b a p a h for b a public administration learners etc if you forget your course code or course title by chance you can also refer to your hall ticket remember to take your hall ticket while you go for the tee now comes another important aspect that is the question pattern dear learners please be aware of the fact that this is an examination that lasts just for 2 hours your other elective courses such as bsog 173 rethinking development the paper that we already discussed that paper was 400 marks and you had 3 hours but for this particular course how many hours 2 what about the maximum marks 50 i hope i made it clear to you what the question type yes you need to be aware of the question pattern you'll be asked to write 10 mark essay questions we can say short essay questions remember this is not an objective paper bpcs 186 is also a descriptive paper where you'll be asked to write short essays each essay carries 10 marks so remember 10 marks essays are expected from you there will be 8 questions in total but don't you worry there will be options you have to choose and write any five questions out of the eight questions remember you will have to choose at least two questions from each of the section that is if you have watched our question paper analysis video i've made it very clear that there will be two sections in your question paper section a and section b respectively there will be four questions each in each of the two sections so make sure that you choose at least two from both of the sections that is anyway 3 plus 2 5 you need to attempt five questions in total out of the eight options see if in case you are not clear about this please refer to my question paper analysis video you can see it on the screen the link is given in the description or refer to our bpcs 186 playlist about the word limit 300 words 
Many learners seem to be bothered about the page number. Dear learners, it is the content that matters the most. If you fail to write the key points discussed in your study material, you won't score well. So, being your academic counselor for the course code BPCS186, I recommend you to rely on your prescribed IGNO official study material for your preparation for this particular course code. All the questions will be asked from that prescribed study material only. Unless you write the key points from the study material, the chances of you scoring high are less. Hence, you don't have to rely on any other external sources for your preparation. You have enough and more content available to frame a 300 word essay answer available in your study material. So, 5 questions, 10 marks each, 5 into 10, 50. We have discussed more such aspects while we discussed the previous question paper on BPCS 186. Many learners were asking for more question papers. See, this is also a newly introduced course, hence you have only a few question papers available. I suppose so far you have just December 2021 question paper. You will get another question paper for reference after July 22 TEE. See, ideally a 10 mark question would run into a minimum of three pages well it depends on your handwriting as well as I always tell you handwriting does matter my dear learners try to write as neatly as possible and make your answers as legible as you can your presentation should be neat and clear Try to avoid any blots or unnecessary markings in your question paper. The margins are already provided in your booklet. Remember to carry extra pens and all other essentials such as your IGNO ID card and hall tickets. We have already discussed all such aspects in that video for TEE guidelines. Remember you have two blocks and eight units as part of this particular course so you are expected to prepare from each unit many of the learners were asking me tips for the last minute preparation see if you are running short of time i would suggest you to have a look at the previous question paper we have already uploaded that look at the previous assignments as well there are chances for these questions to get repeated if you are lucky at least you will get an idea regarding the focus areas for study. Remember there will be questions from all the 8 units. Now let's focus our attention towards how to prepare effectively for PPCS 186 TEE. Dear learners, we have discussed the most important questions as well as the focus areas to study with respect to this particular course code in a separate video. I request you to check out my playlist on BPCS 186. Now let's look at some of the most important points to keep in mind while you are at the exam hall in order to attempt your BPCS 186 TEE. Dear learners, first and foremost, it is very important to fill in the answer booklet carefully. You will be provided the answer booklet first. You have a lot of details to be filled in in the answer booklet, the front page of the answer booklet. Do not make mistakes. We have already discussed this aspect in the previous video on TEE guidelines. Do refer to that if you are not sure of any aspect in particular. Check whether you have received the correct question paper. Dear learners, there could be so many learners attempting different course codes assigned in a particular classroom. Therefore, you need to be aware of your correct course code, program code, etc. And check whether you have received the correct question paper. Another important aspect is to check whether all the sides of the question paper are 
printed see if all the pages are printed if not inform your invigilator as soon as possible remember we just have two hours to complete the paper so let's not waste time on anything that is irrelevant read the instructions carefully this is of great importance dear learners make sure that you read the instructions then read the questions carefully very often what happens is that there could be more than one question in a particular question see refer to the previous question paper to understand what i am referring to there could be two parts in a particular question question number 1 could be structured in such a way that there could be two parts to the question very often what happens is that the students would get excited on on the very first reading and they feel like oh yes i got this and they'll start answering what happens is that they might forget to answer the second part so be aware of this thing choose your options wisely choose those options that you are very sure of choose those options where you could write more choose those options that got diagrams so that you can enhance your answers effectively dear learners remember to put the correct question number here as the question paper is divided into two sections it would be ideal if you could complete one section as a whole and then move on to the next section dear learners plan your answers carefully by planning and referring to your own idea of framing an answer it would be great if you could have a brief introduction and a brief conclude remember to write the key points in our videos we have completely relied on the course material therefore you will be on the safe side Dear learners you have got a rough space towards the end of your booklet there you can plan your answers also but remember not to waste too much of time on planning similarly don't waste too much of time on a particular question if you are not sure of it move ahead proceed with the next question because we just have 2 hours and remember you will be given an answer booklet that consists of 28 pages you will have 26 papers to write and the 27 page would be for rough work and the 28 page would consist of instructions beware of your handwriting dear learners handwriting does matter very often most of the learners start off with a very beautiful handwriting and towards the middle pages they seem illegible please try to avoid blots or any wear or tear in your answer booklet time management as i mentioned is very crucial keep track of your time try not to spend more than 20 minutes on a particular question If so you'll get enough and more time to proofread by proofreading I'm referring to the final corrections may that be spell check grammar check it is important for you to check whether you have written five questions in total see if you have uh, numbered your answers correctly dear learners let me remind you not to use all bullet points you need to elaborate the answers it's a descriptive paper and finally return your answer booklet on time that's also important i'd also like to remind you that you need to make sure that you have signed the attendance sheet provided by the invigilator like the case with most other examination the invigilator will come to you with an attendance sheet you need to sign that and you need to write the serial number on your booklet in that particular sheet also just make sure that you have done that as well so these are the basic points to keep in mind i would like to remind you to please find the link to my bpcs 186 playlist in the description we have discussed all the units of this particular course code in a very detailed manner i'm very sure that you will find these useful as well so dear learners please be confident there is still time 
prepare effectively all the very best for your TEE do well best wishes